Hello fellow citizens, this is your friend, Dr. Haruna Goro. Nigeria is really going through a very, very tough and trying time. There's never been a time like this in the history of this nation where people can't eat, people can't even transport themselves to work or to school. People are now walking long distances to work and to school. And the situation is not getting any better. And when was it that this new regime was sworn in? We warned Nigerians over and over. We kept saying that electing or allowing Tinubu to come in will be many times worse than what happened during Buhari's time. And now people are already saying, where is Buhari? Buhari is better. Buhari was better. And I don't know why people can't seem to learn. Broad daylight, the election was stolen. And they kept saying, go to court, go to court. Labour Party, PDP, and some other parties went to court. Suddenly, after going to court, they're now doing everything to intimidate them and not allow justice to take her course. And right now, we are hearing about how they're doing everything to influence the judiciary against the will of the people. I don't know why people can be so evil, so wicked, that they don't care. As long as they can have their way, as long as they can cling on to power, and use the power for their own advantage and to the disadvantage of the people. But we cannot continue like this. Nigerians, do you want to suffer another four years or another eight years? Because that's what Tinubu came to do. He said, hey, Miloko, it's now my turn. I made Buhari president. And that is why Mahmoud Yakubu was bribed to do what he did to disenfranchise Nigerians. And so many people have died. Many people are currently suffering. As if that is not enough, look at the rogues. Look at the team of people he has surrounded himself with as advisors and how he has made even his cabinet bigger. All these people that are now ministers, from which money will Tinubu use to run this type of cabinet? This is the insensitivity we've been talking about. Nigerians, it's up to you. You sit quiet because of fear. Whether you like it or not, people are dying and you may die because of fear. Nigerians, are we really surprised with what is happening? We already knew, we told you that Tinubu cannot be trusted. Every day they are busy planning behind closed doors on how to rob Nigerians. They don't care whether people die. Have you forgotten so soon what happened during NSAS? Just to protect his business empire at the toll gate, they sent soldiers. Soldiers don't just go out and start shooting without the commander-in-chief being aware. Tinubu used Buhari to unleash the army against innocent protesters. Up till now, the truth has not been revealed. And that is the person that is now your commander-in-chief. Just from the 29th of May till date, see what has already happened in Nigeria. Can you imagine another one year, then four years, and then you know they're going to do everything to cling to power for another eight years. And some people are saying, let's give them a chance. Well, give them a chance at your own expense. And the suffering has just started. I am not a prophet of doom. We all can see what is going on. See the type of ministers he has surrounded himself with. And Tinubu being aware of the fact that there are so many things that are working against him as it has to do with the election tribunal court case that is going on. He knows that if it goes to the merit of the case, he will lose big time. He will be disqualified. Even if there's going to be a rerun, he knows he will not qualify for the rerun. So what has he been doing? What what have they been doing? Doing everything to pressure the election tribunal. So the other thing they've been pushing for is to make sure there is a rerun. And in the rerun, the real winner, who is Peter Obi, they want to make sure they push him out. That's why they've been saying, how can the person who came number three be saying he's the winner? And they said, even if there was going to be a rerun, it's only number one and number two. Meaning, and he already said that Atiku is a master election loser. And he knows he will defeat him hands down. And that's why they've been afraid of Peter Obi, and they're doing everything to ensure that if there is a rerun, Peter Obi does not qualify. They want to make sure they disqualify him from the rerun. But do you know, Tinubu has already made his plans. And this is obvious in the cabinet that he has, the people that he selected. Many of them are people that are corrupt. We all know people like Wicked Wicked who betrayed his own principle, betrayed his own party under the pretense that I want justice. It's the time for the South. As if he actually is for justice. But we saw what he did. Sending the army, sending the police against innocent voters. 
Have you forgotten how Wicked Wicked was threatening one of the election officers that came to River State from Plateau State? And he said, if the person does not do what they have asked him to do, that means rig the election for them, he should prepare his dead body will be taken back to Plateau State. And all these things were obvious signs that something was wrong. Somebody working against his own party just because he did not get nominated as a presidential candidate under their own party. So he started working against the party, betrayed them, betrayed the whole nation. And that is the person Tinubu strategically has placed in Abuja, just in case there is a rerun. And he wants to use wicked wicked to terrorize people in Abuja. All of you, the residents of FCT, don't allow Wicked Wicked to terrorize you. Don't you allow Wicked Wicked to do what he did to the people of River State. Let's stand in defense of this nation. Things cannot continue like this because Tinubu is not prepared to let go. He wants to rule Nigeria, govern Nigeria by force. That is why Tinubu is using ECOWAS to go to Niger. And they are already positioning the army to do that. We are all waiting in anticipation to see the judgment of the election tribunal court. All eyes are on the judiciary. We are waiting to see what will the judges say. I pray that you will not sear your conscience. Fear God. Don't be bought by Tinubu or APC. For the sake of people that are suffering in this nation, let there be justice. I call upon Nigerians, stand together in unity, whether you're from the north, south, east or west, it does not matter. This time around, the suffering is enough. This is the time to take our nation back from these political thieves, these political scavengers, because they are not prepared to let go. This is the time to take our nation back from these political scavengers. Everyone that voted for Peter Obi, you should come out and let the nation know that we did not vote for Tinubu and we are not going for a rerun. When the case is so obvious, then somebody is suggesting a rerun, a rerun, and they are already strategically preparing for a rerun. That is why Wicked Wicked was put in Federal Capital Territory. There's a rumor that's been going around that Peter Obi, Juan Quaso, and Atiku have been meeting behind closed doors to discuss the possibility of a merger or coming together to agree on maybe one person to face Tinubu. I don't know how true it is, but we understand Peter Obi came out to say it is not so. So whatever it is, if they have been meeting to do something so that they can unseat APC, I don't know. However, this time around, it's not just about Peter Obi, it's not just about Atiku, it's about you, Nigerian, taking your nation back. So don't let any alliance, any agreement, any convergence be the reason why you will fold your arms and just say, let's see what happens. No, this is the time for us to stand and say, it's not about them, it's about us, Nigerians. I want to say thank you for your being part of today's broadcast. Go ahead and share it with as many people as you can. And also subscribe to my channel if you've not already done so. And if you've done so, thank you. I want you to also like this broadcast. When you do that, many more people will get to watch it. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you in my next broadcast. Once again, this is your friend and brother, Dr. Haruna Goro. God bless you and may God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. See you next time. Bye-bye.